How's it going everybody? I'm Daniel, this is Daniel Ball Tech and I'm back with another video and today I'm going to talk about something slightly different and that is social media. So, to wrap it up, what I'm going to talk about in this video is how you can get the three most used social media apps and platforms but bring them to your iPad. So, I'm going to show you how you can get WhatsApp, Snapchat and Instagram directly to your iPad. And this is going to be very easy and I'm 100% sure you're going to like it. So let's go ahead and dig in. Okay, so let's begin. Uh, in order to get Snapchat and Instagram, you're going to need to go to the, your app store. But you probably have already tried this and you couldn't find the app. And that is because if you go to the search bar and you go for Instagram, for example, Instagram, they're going to show you, bear with me because this iPad is a little bit old. So uh, you're going to have a lot of information but you're not gonna see Instagram itself and that's because there's no dedicated Instagram app for your iPad but here as you can see we are showing results only for iPad but if you, if you tap here and you go for iPhone only then you're gonna hit you're gonna see the Instagram app right there as you guys can see Instagram so you're just gonna go ahead and download since I have downloaded before is the little cloud with the arrow pointing down icon and then as you guys can see after a few seconds we will begin our download as it is right now so while you're downloading Instagram I'm gonna show you how you can get snapchat and the process is pretty much the same so you're gonna go to search right here let's just delete that if I can and uh, and then we can go to snapchat same story we can wait a bit because it's loading and since I put iPhone only before it will be uh, right here no it's back to iPad I'm sorry so then we're gonna need to go tap here iPhone only same story and then we're gonna see snapchat and that's the official snapchat app for iPhone that we are downloading for your iPad and then after download it, it downloads as well uh, Jesus Christ what I just can't okay so, uh, as you guys can see, fresh downloaded Instagram, downloading uh, Snapchat. And then if you open it up, it looks bad in this first screen, but it's not like this, okay? This is just the first screen that opens that looks really crappy, but uh, it won't be like this. Let's just open the username page so you guys can see how it looks. And as you guys can see, it looks like a proper Instagram version. You just have these little black bars to the, on the side, uh, but that's because it's a little bit cropped. But as you guys can see, the resolution is very good. You don't see any problems. And you can use Snapchat and you can use Instagram with no problem. Uh, let's go ahead and just show you the same with Snapchat. I'm not going to log in and do all of that because I believe it's going to take too much time. Same thing for Snapchat, as you guys can see. So then it's going to ask me for the information for my username and stuff so as you guys can see log in and sign up same story okay but resolution very good it works very well camera and everything uh, and that's pretty much it and last but not least we're gonna talk about whatsapp but the problem is if you go to uh, the app store and you search for whatsapp you're not gonna find the app because there isn't one but you can find these substitutes like whatsapp like with a strange z right there as you guys can see and although it works sometimes it gets really really laggy so what I suggest is a workaround using the web version of WhatsApp which is go into Safari and then we are gonna go for web dot WhatsApp dot com and this is gonna redirect us to the mobile version of the site okay because you cannot have the full version on our iPad but there is a workaround and that is if you hold right here you can request desktop site so you hold the refresh button and it's gonna show your request desktop site you tap here and it's gonna open the actual web whatsapp.com And with this, my friends, you can actually use WhatsApp 
on your iPad. You just need to scan this code. And uh, what you're going to need is your iPhone. Okay? You have your iPhone right there. You go to WhatsApp. And then you go to Settings. WhatsApp Web Desktop. And then you're going to scan the QR code. And it's that fast. You just put it on top. And uh, right there, it's starting to load. So again, depending on your iPad, it's going to be faster than this if you have a, a newer version. But, uh, okay, got it. But uh, that's pretty good, having it right here. So there you have it. You have WhatsApp. It's pretty much fully functional. Sometimes photos may not work. Sometimes some things may not work. But it is a fully functional WhatsApp right there on your iPad. So there you have it. You have iPad on Safari. You have Instagram and you have Snapchat all here, all your favorite media, all on your iPad, without hacking, without jailbreaking, without anything, just easy like this. So, thank you very much for watching this video and staying, uh, having the patience to stay throughout all the end, and I really hope you liked it. Please make sure to hit the like button, which can be right here or right there, and the subscribe button, which will be on the opposite side. Thank you very much for that, and I see you in two weeks. Bye-bye, see you later.